Hello my soccer universe. I really hope you enjoyed my League 1 jersey review. I honestly had fun doing this uh, and I really wonder why I didn't get to them sooner. It was really great looking at all these jerseys. I have to say League 1 is one of those leagues where you either have very specialized jerseys for the bigger teams or you get very plain jersey for the smaller teams where you see a lot of templates which I think is less true for the, the top five leagues in a way so France really is kind of in the middle of things there um, I'm not sure how long it will take me to do the promised other uh, jersey review videos for the other leagues I really want to get there but you know have to put the time for the research in maybe this upcoming weekend might provide a good opportunity for that but let's see uh, you know I cannot put all the time I have already some plans I know videos that I will want to make for sure is I want to talk about the current situation in for the leagues because there have been some news there that I think are interesting I want to give you another set of Champions League matches more recent ones that you might want to watch uh, there are I think two videos left there as well and of course a few books I can review as well so you know I will have stuff uh, for sure and in addition I'm planning to change the background here a little bit and give you a slightly different view of some different jerseys. Uh, I have not quite decided yet but I might think that next time um, when I change it, maybe not next time, you will see a lot of soccer players names and numbers back there. This is I think where I'm headed for now but let's see. What I want to do now is since we had the league uh, jersey review and since I have started this series about my footy scarves um, let's look at my French scarves I have a total I think of seven scarves here very heavy on one team because as you already know at least I have been in the 90s a big PSG fan and I think I did not lose track of PSG for a long time the one thing is once the Qataris took over this and especially after the Neymar move I was really uh, turned off but on the other side, I'm finding my fandom for it. PSG, I mean, it's pretty, it was pretty easy. There are three factors that contributed me uh, becoming a PSG fan. Uh, the first one, probably the smallest one of them all, I really hated Marseille in the 90s. I really hated Marseille. Um, they were the nemesis to Milan. They beat Milan. I remember the 93 Champions League final. I remember going into the stores. I mean, it was all Milan, 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 Milan. Um, and then they stole this trophy from Milan. Which, yeah, looking back at it now, it was maybe not that undeserved. But at the time, it was just unbelievable to me. How come that Mercedes no-name team with this German guy on front, a little bit further, is beating my beloved Milan where Van Basten is playing his last game I didn't know it back then you know uh, I was young and you were not that um, informed let's put it that way so yeah this is the first factor the natural rival PSG uh, of uh, OM is of course OM short for Marseille is of course PSG second of all um, the in 94 we had a school trip where we had 10 days in Paris and I already had some liking for PSG back then but that actually in a way made it even easier because I totally fell in love with the city in Paris there this was you know had to do with us being for the first time set free and uh, you know exploring the city with my friends a little bit it was kind of the one of the best school trips that we ever did I mean Paris we had to take French classes there but we were very much to our own devices and we were living with a host family and the boy of the host family was a diehard PSG fan and funnily enough we yeah I don't know if PSG would have played while we were there but I think our teachers if they would, would have known they would have just killed us uh, because this was not but um the boy gave us his room uh, where we could sleep in, me and my friend, and this was all PSG, 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 and they, ju they just had become champions as well, so 
that really happened uh, helped and you know I wanted them to support a team from Paris and PSG was the obvious one and then they had this really really great Champions League campaign in 94 995 where they made it to the semis lost to Milan there but I have to say I really thought that you know I knew I had tickets to 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 the final and despite being a Milan fan Milan was not great that season and I was not you know how old was it then? Uh, I was 95, yeah, almost 18 or whatever. Uh, but it was more to that, yes, I'm a Milan fan, but A, they don't really deserve it because Ajax is so much better. Can I stand having Milan losing? So yeah, that was, those were the considerations. So I actually want to have an Ajax PSG final to a certain degree that I saw that Milan was special, but I saw Milan in a losing effort, so... Still was impressed by their defensive prowess, but, you know, uh, Savicevic in front was definitely missing. So, this was the third factor, and then when they... Uh, to just top top it up, but then I was already a fan, was when they beat in 95-96 in the European Cup final, like I beat Vienna. That was the problem. So, let's look at some PSG scars. My first one ever, and I think I got that right after visiting Paris and I think I got this either at this um, fan store that was there was, was when they were traveling to the stadiums uh, or I ordered it online from there I think it I think I want to say I ordered it online because they I had I had a, a subscription to a sports uh, newspaper and they always said yeah you can order the catalog there so I got that cat catalog it was fan shop Strobel, I think and they offer this, what I call a generic scarf. This is really generic because you have the club logo, club name, you have the flag of the country, which is a French flag, and then really like in a generic, uh, kind of this double league framed and what it is. And then there's a, text, a little bit of text up and below. So Paris, SG, and then it says Champion de France in 1986. So it's an old, uh, scarf and then Coupe de France in 82 and 83 so uh, yeah I know I got the guy when they were already champions in uh, 94 but that was not reflected there but I have to say for a first scarf I really like it I like and it actually quite uh, modern because look at the blue on there all my other PSG uh, scarves don't have the dark blue also note the crest here there's nothing around and note there's a cradle and this is the Holy Spirit here. This is not what we have now in the PSG crest. Uh, I think now I think that I have the Fleur de Lis in there is a nice touch that I have to say it also speaks for French uh, culture, but the, the Eiffel Tower was actually the defining feature. So this, it's not the greatest scarf, so the red tassels and so on, but it, I think it's a nice one. I think the second one, and I'm really shaky on where I got all these scarves, but I know this scarf I got somewhere in 90, around 98. Uh, and in a local sports store, because they were selling off these scarves, and I have a very similar one uh, with Italy. And it's the one of the stranger scarves that I have. It's this one, it's a Nike scarf. And it's very thin and it's not a weave, it is kind of a fleece pattern, which I found very interesting. It has now the already updated crest where they have the name of the team around. They had for a short time uh, really the PSG, uh, we'll see it on the next, uh, on there. Uh, but here, this is, uh, an old, this is a slightly younger scarf. And the nice feature here is, if you look at it, you know, this is kind of the home kit in a way. Uh, I'm not sure about the white strap in the blue. Then you turn it around and you get the same thing in the away customization. So this is go home, go away. You have it both ways. That I found interesting. And when I put it back on the wall before I changed here, uh, I asked the girls, do you want to use this side or this side? The vote was in the family split and then I decided, okay, I put a lot of this, let's do a different one. Although I have to say, I like the home side much better, but a very interesting scarf. And I said, I have a very similar Italy scarf with that one. 
uh, note the Nike logo, so this is clearly a brand scarf and this fleece uh, material is very, very in in very sturdy uh, scarf and you know, it's probably the one where, you can, where all the, le the lettering is, there's a lot of detail. The material allows for a lot of detail, so that's actually quite cool, which you don't have on, for instance, this scarf. A lot of detail I also have from the next scarf. And now the next two, I really don't know. Uh, I know I got one of them, I got 99 in Paris. And I want to say the other one, I got right around early, right around 2000 from a French online store where I also ordered this jersey here, the sit down jersey, because you could get it over there. That's how I remember it, but I'm not sure. But um, let's go that one, because uh, as I said, this is probably, I want to say, the third oldest scarf. This one is definitely more recent, and this is the Cup Winners Cup scarf that really reminded me you have here the trophy. That trophy that doesn't exist anymore. You have the dual logos. You have the logo that they wore on the shirt, and you have the alternate logo that they were wearing on the shirt for a while, on the shirt for a while. The PSG where they really show how the club's kit should be. It says Vancouver, Vancouver, this uh, this. I don't know how good my French is. Probably not that good any, anymore. I like it for all the stars. This is probably, of all the PSG scarves that I have, is my favorite one. It says Paris Saint-Germain, Coupe uh, d'Europe de Vencore, the Coupe Coupe, it says, and then the, the one there, and you have twice the trophy on there. This is a really nice one. And then the last one is more of a generic one, but also I like it a lot. I have not hung it yet, but it's focus a little bit more on the Paris aspect. By the way, this one on the back, I mean, it's the mirror image, uh, which would look nice, but you know, mirror image doesn't do much. Uh, but I actually like that it's on the front and on the back, it looks kind of nice, which is in a way, is not so much true for this one. So these are the Italian type scarves where you only look at one side, to be honest. Um, and this is this scarf. I wanna say that this is the one I got at the PSG fan store in Paris in 99, but I'm not sure. Um, I think it's quite beautiful the way that the PSG is written. You have the two logos that are kind of uh, oh, straight, so they're not going with the vertical, they're going horizontal. And then the stars in there, and then you have Paris, Paris here. So, I mean, for that reason, I really like that scarf. I just don't remember where and when I got this one. So yeah, these are my PSG scarves, and I think I had each one of those before any of the other three French scarves, which I got in August of 2000, because August of 2000, I did a nice trip with my aunt. I've been traveling with my aunt a lot. She's kind of my godmother. Um, and yeah, my second mother in a way as well, because she's... She's one of my biggest supporters, let's put it that way. And we did a lot of trips together and in 2000 we, she got a new car and we, and she said, Roland, uh, will you come with me on a trip? We want, I want to visit the Bretagne and you can make the tour and we can add a few things. And so basically the trip was, we went uh, in the first day to Strasbourg, then from Strasbourg through Reims, I think we went all the way up to Amiens. Uh, also, so we visited Reims, Beauvais and Amiens. Then we went up to uh, the Normandy uh, coast, you know, Caen, um, based ourselves there, Caen, Bayeux, and then uh, via uh, Mont Saint-Michel and Saint-Malo, we made it to the Bretagne, uh, up and down, and then uh, via Chartres, Nantes, Rennes, Chartres. You know, basically we went all the way uh, west, uh, as well, and then uh, via Chartres and uh, Veselet, I think we were visiting, uh, Rochon, and then we went to Basel in Switzerland, and then we were home. It was kind of a two week trip, uh, a really nice trip, I have to say. I honestly have good memories from that one. 
And along the time, yeah, I tried to pick up some souvenirs and my souvenir of uh, the time were scarves. Now, I realize I've mentioned here a few cities uh, that I didn't get scarves uh, of. Reims was a non-factor. Caen, I knew back then, I couldn't find any scarf of Caen back then. Um, we passed through Guingamp, uh, or passed, couldn't get any scarves of Guingamp, uh, for instance. So Amiens, we were there, that team was a non-factor. So, you know, there were a few that I would love to have now. But the first one I picked up was Strasbourg, and I think I bought this in the city center somewhere. I don't know if this was an official store. My memory is shaky. But this was the Strasbourg scarf that I got. Allee Strasbourg. Uh, it had the then modern logo. Uh, if you look at the now logo, there's kind of the stork and then there's the cathedral in there. And this shape here uh, is supposed to symbolize the stork and the cathedral in one. Of course, most fans focused on the lighter blue part and called this logo the Pac-Man logo. Understandably, to, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, that's the logo I have. So yeah, and it's also symbolized with the stars, kind of the European Union. Um, it's an official product scarf, so I find this quite nice. And I have to say, it's overall a really, really nice scarf with a lot of stars on there. Uh, Ale Racing, so I really like that one. Then, as I said, lots of towns that would have had teams, uh, but they were non-factors back then. So the next one was uh, Rennes, where I knew Rennes had a, had, had a team, but how the hell do you find a Rennes store? Well, I was lucky, because on our way there, and they had just built a new stadium, and on our way into Rennes, uh, we passed the stadium, which was right on the outskirts there. And I said to my aunt, yep, on our way back, we have to stop at that store. And I remember they had the opening uh, Rennes against Juventus, was I think two weeks later, or something like that. So, uh, absolutely new store. Didn't really know that at the time. But what I got there is this scarf. Uh, in that store, the one thing I regret is that it doesn't have the logo on there. But what I was going for is the Breton flag which I really, really liked. I think I read that this is the only black and white flag in the world on a postcard that I sent out. And since Lask is playing black and white, of course, this is what we have to focus on. It's a really nice scarf. Uh, start René FC and then the P and don't, I don't know how to say this in French any, anymore. I am not sure about the soccer ball on there because this is exactly the ball that I don't like. But with the flag pattern, I really like this scarf and nice story coming with it. And then I think a couple of days later, we were more or less on our way towards home and we passed through Nantes and I knew Nantes, I really have to make everything possible because Nantes was always, I told you in my review, I always had a liking for Nantes, especially of the jerseys. And I knew they have one of the most beautiful stadiums there. And I, I remember we were going through the city center, uh, which has, I think, a nice palace in there. And we were walking through stores and I said, how do we get to that stadium? I don't know. How do we get to the, to, to the stadium? And I think um, I remember then going to the side and in a bookstore looking at a map of Nord and then bah, there it is. And I don't know why I didn't tell my aunt, but I said, you know, we gotta drive. I wanna drive there, I wanna try something, I wanna try it if we can get to the stadium. And my memory fails me if I got this scarf before or after. Uh, no matter what, I know we were driving up there, and this is really was far out of the city of the city center, but it was pretty pretty much a straight route. Uh, I think going north. And suddenly, and I thought, oh no, we're not going there. I'm, I'm, I missed it, and now I have, have no chance. And boom, there was the stadium. And you know, it was a little bit great. We are at the stadium, and I think I walked a little bit around it. And my aunt, I think she, she didn't want to come with me or something like that. She said, you, you're crazy or, or, or whatever. I said, no, I, I gotta watch the stadium. I at least want to make a picture. And then I saw that the stadium gates are open. 
and I look around, there's no one there. I walk in and I'm standing on the pitch. That was cool. I don't know if I got them. I found a store there where I bought this scarf or if I bought it downtown. The memory fails me of that one. I want to say I bought it downtown because I think I really only walked down the pitch on the stadium and that was that, but who knows. Anyway, I got this scarf and I have to say this probably has my favorite knot crest. It's a very unique scarf with this kind of star pattern. It says Allee Knot. It's similar produit officiel like the uh, Strasbourg scarf. Um, again, some soccer balls here on this on the one end and also on the other but I think the really nice thing is that you have the crest of knot very nicely in there. Well, I actually, these are all my French soccer scarves, footy scarves that I have. Uh, I think they're quite so nice in that. I know it's very PSG heavy, but I told you the history why I became a PSG fan. Uh, and I, I don't hide that. I mean, I have to say when I find my sympathies for them as well, although there's Neymar there who makes it really hard, hard for me. But I'm fond of all these scarves. i fond of all these teams and I really would like to have Shirts of Nantes, Rennes and Strasbourg, the same as for, you know, all the cities that I've been in France. I really would like to have jerseys. Uh, this, this is something that I'm going to hunt down these days, uh, uh, next, these years, I have to say. I want to have a jersey from a team in every town that had a good team that I've visited. I think this is kind of my goal, although I don't know what to do with Australia or China. There I won't have just jerseys and sometimes I have it. Anyway, let me know if you found this video interesting, if there, if which scarves you liked, which ones you disliked, drop a line below, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. I know this is a very long one and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!